Man, StreamYard is rolling out recording hours. You don't have to delete your videos and you can now embed them straight from video storage on StreamYard. <laughs> I'm gonna need to do a new video. Let's go. Heading up to the studio, cause that's where it happens. Let's get it. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, we show you how to use live streaming to grow and engage your audience, how to funnel clients to your business and how to establish yourself as a thought leader. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at StreamYard's latest updates. Stay with us till the end where we'll share how these updates will impact us in our live video journey. Let's get into it. So the first thing we want to do is look at the desktop and determine where these new features are. Let's take a look. The best way to show this is by going to pass broadcast and just click on any one of these videos here. So you'll see I've got this open here and we can download the recording, which we have been able to do before. And when we click that you get a new message and the message reads permanent storage recordings are no longer deleted after 15 days. Your plan now includes 50 hours of permanent recording storage. You can always add more storage or free up space by deleting past recordings. And of course we have the same options that we had before the video recording, audio recording, individual audio recordings. So if you did that in your settings for your broadcast, you will see those things there. So those are pretty cool. And that message kind of gives us an idea of what we're looking for. Also, if we go up to my account and I go to billing, you can see that this section has been added now. This whole section, I've got 35.2 hours remaining. Recording storage is the section that we're, we're looking at. And I can click to add more. And again, there's 50 hours, 100 hours for five, 450 a month, 200 hours for 850, 400 hours for 1699. We're not talking about a ridiculous amount of money. They have simply added on uh, another value for their customers, for their subscribers. And I think this is really pretty good. 50 hours for free is actually a really good amount of hours, but I need to clean up my storage. <laughs> The next thing we want to look at is how can we embed these or even share the link? I think I'm going to show you how to share the link first. So let's take a look at sharing the, the link. And, and this is not inherent. I, th I think there is a, a they announced this, but um, I, I'm going to show you a little hack. Uh, so it's actually together um, being able to embed the video and share the link. If I click on this same previous broadcast, you'll notice that I can delete the recording or delete the broadcast. Um, I can enter the studio. I can stream the recording. Of course, we touched on that in one of my previous StreamYard videos, but then I can embed. And of course, they have the new signal symbol next to that. So if I go to embed the recording, you'll notice that you have responsive and fixed. And this is the embed code you would use to be able to take it and put it on your website. We're going to do that in a second. But before we do that, I want you to notice something here. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. There is a embed.streamyard.com with the studio link here. All right. This is the studio link, um, the studio code, whatever you used. So if I just take just that section of the embed code, just that section starting between the quotes, right? So HTTPS, it starts there and it ends with the this, this StreamYard code. So basically take the, the link for your studio and drop embed in front of StreamYard.com. And that link, if I copy that link or if I go to that link, I'm going to copy it, open a new tab, paste it here and hit enter. It's going to take me directly to the actual playable video now the, so without even embedding it on your stream on your website or wherever you want to embed it this video is now available just by sending somebody the embed link embed.streamyard.com plus your your code that'll allow people to watch rewatch watch the replay i should say of your videos um now i'm not certain what what you're going to use this for and i'm interested to hear what you're going to do with it in the comments so definitely let me know 
So now we're going to take a look at how we would actually use the embed link the way it's supposed to be used by embedding it on a blog post on my website. So we're back here on this scene and I'm going to just go ahead and click copy. Now you got to make a decision in terms of how your website or your blogs are, are managed. If you have it responsive, you have it in fixed, but I'm going to click copy code because I want it to be responsive and um, I've already logged into my website. I've got a WordPress website. I'm not going to go into all the other details. This is not a WordPress tutorial, but if you got your web page or your blog post set up, you would simply, I mean, you, you're going to have to put your verbiage whatever way you want it. I've put some verbiage here above and below where I want the video to go. I've actually added a feature image down here at the bottom. Um, so my, this, this is essentially ready to go. And all I really need to do is add my embed code. And I, go, I do that by going to text and finding where I want this to be. Sometimes that can be a little difficult in the text, but then I'm just going to paste it. And by after pasting, I'm just going to go back to visual and I see, boom, that thing is there. And if I click on preview, let's go to preview here, it's going to allow me to see what this blog post is going to look like. And there it is. And that looks pretty good. And this video is being played directly from StreamYard video storage. That is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> these functions and features, these updates, they are relative, right? To some people, they're like, eh, I don't need that. Because it's all going to be about how you use them to impact your audience, to get your message out there. And I want to give you three things here. One is that your recording quality on StreamYard is better than where you send it through to your destinations. Remember, you're connecting there, your guest is connecting there. Quality there is probably at its best because it's the closest to the source. So having access to that video, both to be able to embed it or to send it as a link, let's say in your email, to your coaching list, even as a tutorial for a client, any one of those ways could be a great way to use these features. And then the last, of course, being able to embed it either in a blog post or on your website. Again, having access to that video immediately, not having to actually go and find where you streamed it to, not worrying about whether Facebook or YouTube are going to disappear. You have access to it because you're paying for that storage. You have access to it forever as long as you keep it on that site and then you can embed it on your storage and you own those spaces. And that is a critical point for us all to consider. One of the things I love about features and functions and these updates is that a lot of people are doing them and Restream has a new feature that I want to highlight in my next video called Restream Pairs. And it's a way for us to take our video as we're streaming it, not only to our destinations, but to stream it to your your guests destinations at the same time. Make sure you subscribe so you'll know when that video goes live on the channel. And we'll see you in the next one.